OK, tonight Fish Fry Friday takes us to a place named in honor of a legendary group of warriors in the American military. Back in 1942, they were the nation's first African-American Marines. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels is live in Montfort Point Marine Detachment 158 on Detroit's West Side tonight to serve up a Friday feast with a side of history. Sarah, how are you? Yes, I love that. Thank you guys. You guys, I could not be better. We have been having so much fun tonight, haven't we? Yeah. On Cloud Nine, take a look. They are frying up the best fish and chicken. Their fish fry is incredible, but the history here, you guys, it is even better. Please take a look. So when they first allowed blacks into the Marine Corps, they stuck a group of them on an island, expecting them to fail and it was called Montford Point. Randall Clemens is the commandant of the Montford Point Detachment in Detroit. Him and his wife, Kimberly, dedicate a great deal of their lives to serving this detachment. And Kimberly, are you a Marine? Might as well be, I'm the wife okay. <laughs> of a Marine. Making sure as many people as possible know the story of the first black Marines. Even within the Marine Corps, a lot of people don't even know what Montford Point is. Yeah. They still don't know the story. In 1942, President Roosevelt cleared the way for African-American men to join the Marines. But the men who signed up were segregated, forced to build their own camp, and held back from combat until World War II. After the war in 1949, they were desegregated, but forever known as the Montford Point Marines. And if you can see the title, 1942 to 1949, that was when it was. Eugene Owen showed us this wall honoring the legendary Marines, sharing that every day they were faced with more hardships than others. At that time, they didn't know that there was black Marines, and the police saw them in those uniforms and they arrested them. There's still one original Montford Point Marine alive, 98-year-old Robert Hassler, who lives here in Detroit and is a member of this detachment. Detachment 158 where they hold trunk or treats, toys for top fundraisers, and more community events to support the Detroit community. Through giving, this detachment continues the Montfort Point Marine fight, making sure as many people as possible know about what the first black Marines overcame to pave the way for others. And it was just amazing how their history went un untold. Mm -hmm. yep. But now you guys are making sure that it is told. Yeah, we, we, that's what we've been doing. And what a privilege is it for all of us to be live here today. We're live right now. We have Kimberly and Randall. And you guys, how amazing are these two individuals? Yeah. We have been absolutely blown away today. You guys help to put together these fish fries every single Friday of the year. Kimberly, that is a big chunk of your life. Tell me why you guys are happy to dedicate that every single week. Well, first of all, they're Marines. And, there you go. And because they have served us, I think because of that, that's what we do. My husband's a Marine. These are this place is filled with Marines and veterans, and we that's the least we can do. Absolutely. You guys, thank you for your service to everyone in this room. Thank you for your fish, your hospitality as well. It's been an amazing Fish Fry Friday. What a privilege, you guys. We're going to send it back to you. Oh, yes. And we say thank you for your service to all of them. They sacrificed so much for our freedoms and so glad their memories are being you know, talked about and passed down to other generations. And thanks for sharing those stories. Very, very interesting. Absolutely. Okay. You can find a full list of local fish fries in Metro Detroit right now on WXYZ.com.